just let you know before the video starts, the audio has accidentally done something wrong with it. It's not very noticeable, but just let you know before it starts. Hey guys, this is uh, Tom from Mystric 2 and Steel Gamers. A little off topic today, but I would like to teach you guys a bit of Motion 5. Um, where is it? There is Motion 5. This one. Yeah, so if we go into that and click on it, obviously, the only way you can get into it is if you click on it. And I'm just going to run you through a basic project today. Um, basically, we want to we want to make a box, a, a box with a a, a light um, with sh reflecting shadows, and we want text as well. And you can obviously choose whatever text you want from this, but it's, it's hopefully going to teach you a few things, basic things for motion. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this button here and we're going to make a rectangle like that just drag it all the way down to the corner and what we want to do is is we want to go from there we want to click this camera button here I don't know why I have to draw a rectangle before I click the camera button but you can do it anywhere you want you can click the camera first and then you just click switch to 3D and then what you do here is you click on that hold shift down and click that one on the green line until it goes flat like that until it's just a line and then you want to grab this blue arrow and drag to the side just till it gets there perfect and then you want to copy and paste that so command C command V and drag it to the other side it's identical now and then we want to also copy and paste it again but this time we want to drag it till it gets to the center hold shift and then turn it to its flat and then do the same thing but with the blue arrow up and as you can see it doesn't quite you know match it or you can go down in fact I'm gonna go down first and what you want to do is, is you want to drag these these blue little circles um, out and then you want to pull it forward let's make it a bit bigger no in fact we can keep it keep it there um, and then command C command B and up with that one like that and then drag that a little bit further that way and drag that a little um, a little bit further that way like so yep so there you go and then all I do is here instead of copy and pasting the last one I just draw another rectangle over here like that and then this rectangle you want to personally make 3D with this little button down here that button will turn that object whatever your object is into a 3D object depending on your camera if your camera is set in 3D then you are able to do that if it's not 3D then you won't be able to um, so let's push that back with the blue arrow again let's definitely turn off that because that ain't going to help in fact come on third. start again just because I don't there we go go until it's god I don't know right okay so as it now it just looks white so it doesn't look like it's a box at all what we're going to do is is we're going to go over to this little icon down here there we go where it says create a light you want to click on that and there we go we've created a light and you can drag it forward or backwards depending on you know where you want your light situated but I want my light situated at the end very at the end close to the end panel and if we go on them, just need to correct that a little bit. See what that looks like. Mm. It's not. That's it. If 
we just pull it all the way down so it cuts through them and that'll make it look a bit better <laughs> yeah so here we go we've created that um, yeah so so there's the, the box base the basic box we want to go into light and we want to go into this button down here this is the hood and this gives you all the you know different options you can do the different intensities you can go right up and you can go right down you know, until there's no light at all um, we're gonna go about 130 I reckon and we want to put the fall off to zero and the Fall off start to zero, sorry, and the fall off we want it about ten percent. We want to turn on shadows, and we want to turn the softness to around ten, I reckon. There we go. Okay, and just to affect the camera right now, we want what we want to do is, in fact, no, we'll do that in a bit. We want to go to text first, so I'm going to put in steel gamers there we go and you can see the shadows coming up as we type that um, put that down there I'm gonna put that there that looks quite cool um, I want to move the light a bit there we go I'm just gonna pull mm, the text forward a tiny bit. There we go. And what we want to do is, is we want to, yeah. So that that looks pretty cool for now. But we obviously want to turn up the, we want to make these this text a bit bigger. So. Okay, looks about right. And then we want to go into the hood again for the text and I'm going to choose you can have any color you want I think I'm going to go for a nice a nice dark turquoise blue color that looks nice um, yeah that looks cool I like that and we basically want to animate the camera now so we're going to click on camera underneath the bottom in the scroll bar and we want to click on HUD and what we want to do is is we want to do the angle of view first so we want to drag that right out to 100% no, a bit more than 100% 111% that looks, that looks good, I like that and we want to turn the depth of blur up so when it gets a bit closer it will, we want to turn up to around 40 I think and, uh, and that should that should create a nice depth of blur feeling when it gets a bit close to the object that you want to focus on. So now we want to create the animation for the camera. So what what you're thinking, you know, if you work with Final Cut, it's you know anime Final Cut Pro Seven anyway. It's um, it's a little different, you know. You you can click and click on, but this one it's a little bit different to that. So what you want to do is we turn on record for keyframes and I mean you can go down here manually but I just I don't know why it's just easier here but turn on record and we want to open up the hood put the hood there and we want to tell you what we'll go to about there and bear in mind when you render this out it'll be a lot slower than you think I tried it the other day well, not the other day, about three hours ago I tried this and I rendered it out, I halved the distance because what I thought was it was happening I was dragging it across here this timeline and it was going really slow, I was like god damn that's a bit too slow but actually when you render it out and export it it's actually really quick and it's you know, it, this is actually ten seconds so um, I'm gonna go for five seconds bang on and then we're going to grab this and we're going to move it forward towards steel gamers like so there we go 
and then it will animate it towards the steel gamers as you have further as you can see it we can just click on this button and it will render it out for us no it won't, it will change the <laughs> seconds into frames so it's a bit of final cuts like that, you just click that and it renders it although I've not got 10 yet but hopefully I will get it soon and get working a bit more so that is going on so that's three seconds four seconds five there we go. so then we want to do is is we want to then add a keyframe from there but differently so we want to do it on a different axis so we want to transform um, So we want to transform. We, well, we want to rotate it. So we want to go from there to say the rest of the way. We want to rotate it. Um, let's rotate it that way. That looks cool. But then we don't want to. We want to. You know. We want to keep that because that's slowly going to rotate so what we want to do is want to click there and want to right click there and add a keyframe and then that from there we drag down so it's straight and then from that point on it will slowly move that way so I mean Seems alright. Um, sorry, I've gone on the wrong wall. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna get to five seconds again. We're gonna click here. Sorry, on the red one. Add a keyframe on the Y rotation axis. Want to drag it over there. There we go. That's the one. That's it. So now, now it's going to be straight, and then turn. There we go. That seems all right. That. Um. I mean, that's that's the simplest one I know to do. I mean, there are many you could do. Many, many, many. Um. I mean. <sighs> Let's think. You could be a bit more technical with the text, say, and put. Um, let's go down here and put a, a glow on it. But then that defeats the object of the, obviously, the shadows. Um, you could put. You could put bad TV on it, but then that disappears. So I, to be honest, I would just leave it. If it was me, you know, I would just leave it as it is. Um, just maybe, I don't know, add something in if you really want to. I mean, I'm not going to because I can't be bothered. Um, and it's too much effort. It's just a small tutorial I'm doing here. So, you're wondering, probably wondering now how we render that out. Yeah, well, I am too. So, what we want to do is is we want to go to <coughs> oh dear we want to go to share and we want to go to export movie there we go and I use DVC Pro HD because I'm obviously editing in Final Cut Pro I use this and then you open it with your default player which is for me QuickTime and 
and that's about it really and then obviously you name it so I'm going to call it Steel Gamers let's see intro so then they want to put it in applications obviously so you put it in desktop and then click save and then that will definitely do it in ultimate speed with the new computer but say fan of course not this quick for rendering it's weird I wish it would be this quick for pin rendering it's stupid the amount of time it takes to render but anyway that's how it is so that's done so there it is popping up and let's play it through to see how it looks Yeah, that looks right a bit misty. That's just a basic. I mean, if I wanted to, I could make it a bit more, but technical. But it's just a a little run through of the basics of Motion Five here. So I hope you guys love the tutorial. I'm sure you didn't, but <laughs> just giving you a little run through of the basics. That's all I'm trying to do here. Um, and then when I get Final Cut Pro Five, I will. Um, I will run you through the basics of that too. I mean, I will be bringing out the Final Cut Pro 7 tutorial soon on the basics of that as well. Um, don't really use Soundtrack Pro, it's a bit overrated for me. I mean, I, I mean, I love it to bits, but I only use it on the occasions where I need to edit my sound perfectly to make it right for the videos. Um, at the minute, you've been probably seeing that we've done a micro video quite often. And it, we we have put I'm putting a time lapse up tonight um, of our clan, the Steel Gamers, making a city. And tonight is the night we built. Not tonight, the night before, but that night is the night we built all of the or most of the the buildings in there. So you know. Um, we've got a few slots left, but I think we might be doing them, so keep in touch, keep watching them, and keep enjoying them, and I shall see you soon.